Oh. Oh. The that was the cylinder book breaking. Oh, oh my gosh, what was that? What's up everyone, Dan here again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the start of what could become a pretty major problem here on our house. Fortunately, we've caught it early enough though, uh, so we're going to get it taken care of before it becomes a major issue. Here's what we've got going on. All right. Here's what we've got. Over the past uh, week or two, we've had some cracks start developing. Um, this is right outside our master bathroom. We've also got the windows pulling away. In addition, we've got some minor crack developing inside the house too. I'll show you guys that in just a second here. All right, so this is inside our master bathroom. And as you can see, all three of these windows are starting to develop some minor cracks. Uh, we've got a little bit of splitting occurring right there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. In addition, you can see here, the caulk on the tub is starting to pull away. We've also got a little bit of splitting right here. And then the other issue is this door right here. Uh, so you can see the caulk is pulling away. And see here, let me try to close this door. It is actually hitting up on the top there and you can't close the door anymore. So what the heck is going on? Well, here in Texas, houses are almost entirely built on what's known as slab on grade foundations. As the name suggests, it's pretty much just a gigantic slab of concrete that sits right on top of the soil. Now here in Texas, the soil pretty much never freezes, and so there's little concern about shifting or heaving, and so in general, a slab is very stable. Well, earlier this year, we got a ton of rain in the spring, and now this summer has been super hot and super dry. So the soil initially expanded and now it's contracting and that has caused this corner of our foundation to start to sink. Now in order to stop the sinking, we're going to be installing a pier, which is pretty much just a series of concrete cylinders that are pushed down into the ground until they hit either bedrock or stable enough soil to support the weight of the foundation. In fact, as you'll be seeing in just a few minutes, not only will the pier stop our foundation from sinking, but we can actually use it to jack the entire house back up until the foundation is level. I'm here at my local big box store to pick up a couple of supplies. The concrete cylinders, which will be driven into the ground to stabilize the foundation, as well as a cap. Both of these are made from solid, high-strength 5,000 PSI concrete. I'm picking up eight cylinders as, based on previous digging experience, I'm expecting to hit solid soil about five to six feet down. Depending on the soil composition in your area, it may take considerably more to hit solid soil. What's up, everybody? Wanted to introduce you to my lovely wife, Anna. She's going to be helping on this project. She already started removing the rocks. And we are going to start digging the hole for the pier. Yay! It is hotter than a $2 bill out here. And while we were making good progress initially, uh, things are starting to slow down. We're kind of starting to hit some rocky soil down here. So we had to bust out 
the big guns. This is a demo hammer with a spade bit, which helps you break through hard clay and rocky soil. Yay for power tools. And I forgot to mention, if you are gonna be using something like a demo hammer, make sure you wear your hearing and your eye protection. Here's a demonstration of how we'll be installing the foundation pier. After digging a hole under the foundation, the first concrete cylinder is placed on the dirt and the bottle jack is placed on top. As the jack is raised, it will contact the foundation and will begin pushing the cylinder into the ground. Once that cylinder is pushed all the way down, another is placed on top and is pushed down in the same way. Once the cylinders have hit solid soil, a cap is placed on top which allows jacking from one side while another cylinder is placed on the other side. Now the jack can be removed and a final cylinder takes its place. Oh. Oh. That was the cylinder breaking. The cylinder broke, yeah. Oh, it was the rock, too. <laughs> um, maybe that crack is there. Okay. So apparently, these rocks aren't strong. Well, yeah.
All right, so there you have it. We got several of those cylinders into the ground and we hit stable enough soil that we were able to jack up the foundation by about an inch. The cracks and the gaps, they're closed up and they look a lot better now. In addition, the door to our bathroom, which was getting stuck at the top before, it works like normal again. We're very happy with the outcome. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe. It helps support the channel and we'll see you on another episode very soon. Bye.